Callie Sykes, and I'm going to be a senior here at Hendrickson High School. Hi, I'm Pedro Castaneda, and I will also be what she said. A senior. And we are going to give you guys some survival tips for surviving your freshman year of high school. But this is not Ned Bigby's Declassified School Survival Guide. No, it is not. We this don't makes have more sense. the production money for that. Yes. Number one. Study habits. <laughs> you know, you. it's really important to like have a way that works for you so that you can be prepared in school. Mm -hmm. Like, not just school supply-wise, but like for the different things that are coming up? Yes. Um, I think the transition from middle school to high school is, it's big. We're not going to lie. It is big. And so you have to study. You know, I went through a lot of middle school just kind of winging it, but high school is a time where you really crack down your study habits and get what works for you. So when you go to college, it'll be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Mainly because your freshman year sets your GPA. And it's way easy to like. It's better to set it at a high level. That way, you don't have to worry about bringing it up, which is also really hard throughout high school because by your junior or sophomore year, your GPA is pretty much set in stone. Yes. And your uh, freshman year is the most important year it sets of it. high school. It's not the hardest, but it is the most important. Yes. Once you get freshman year and you're up there, you are set for life. You're cheating. Oh goodness. Seems like a good idea because you know it's a free way to like. It's not really free because you're not really gaining anything because mm -mm. okay people told me that and I didn't really listen but you see if you cheat on one thing then not only do you not gain the work ethic for that but you also don't have the knowledge for the next thing that comes up so then you just keep doing it I'm just gonna quote DJ Khaled and say you're playing yourself if you cheat so don't do it um I didn't find my place in high school. I know we, we found Neither it at was. the same time, mm -hmm. our sophomore year when we joined theater. Um, but it's very important to know about the organizations, which we have a list of clubs that you can look at so you can find your place in school, because that's really where you exhale. You can visit the tables, like when you go uh, today at Take Flight, you can visit the different tables. We have the theater table, they have a paintball club, they have all sorts of things. They have a film club, they have... I mean, there's band. Band is there's also, you really bands. want something that's gonna like, you see the thing that's good about uh, fine arts things or like football or uh, things like that is that you have to pass to play so they encourage you to keep everything in academic wise together and it helps you, you know, get ready for college if, if you wanna even do that in college. And it's just nice to have a place in school. I mean, when you need some place of refuge to know that you have a group of people that you can depend on and you guys have a common, interests it's just really nice to have yeah like personally i'm pretty sure that like if we're not in our class we spend like 90 percent of our school time down in the theater hall yeah that's because that's where, like that's like where we go and like you got to find a place where like you stay you know cool man yeah right. and you really want to have a friend in every class at least one just you know that you sing. that one person the first day of school where you introduced each other and maybe you asked them how their day is and then later on in life they let you borrow a pencil and they're then your, you both win. They're your best man or maid of honor at your wedding. Lifelong friends. Mm -hmm. Also because uh, you know it's good to have someone on your side and like same thing with teachers too. Not so much a friend because that's not really appropriate but like <laughs> you gotta you gotta respect your teachers because right. you really want them on your side like one, if you like miss something or if you're falling behind on a class, they can help you. Or if you want like a letter of rec. Mm -hmm. Your teachers want to help you. It's you who have to put yourself in the position to get the help. Yes, it's not like middle school, how they used to hound you down for things that you were missing or, you know, if you were falling behind in a class, like it's all up to you now. Like they, they're not gonna go after you. No, but they will support you. Avoid drama. Oh my gosh, just, just don't do it. Save just it be for the kind. Stage. Save it for the stage if you're in theater. Or save it for your videos if you make them on YouTube. Or save it for your llama. Yes, your llama. That's a great place to send save your drama. Save drama for your llama. But honestly, be nice to one another. It's really not worth it. I mean, why? I honestly don't understand why you It's just be. a waste of time. It is. Why are you wasting <laughs> your breath? <laughs> we all have better things people? to do. It takes so much energy and that like, you won't have there's because plenty you have of to study that... for your classes. There's plenty of ways that like drama actually like can, you know, creep in, and like you really gotta watch out for it. Watch out for it. Like on social media, for example, it's um, you know it's supposed to be a place that like we're able to like share the things that are going on, but it's not supposed to be a place where like 
people like start judging or right that's not use social media as an outlet to lift people up mm -hmm. or to show off yourself or to show off your family. You know, use it appropriately. That's such mm -hmm. a great platform. Ben says to honestly express yourself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I lost it. Oh yeah, everything that you put on social media is there forever. Oh, it doesn't go away. You Ever. know when you delete it? Nope. Still there. Still there, because you know somebody screenshotted it. Somebody, there's those snakes that like screenshot Snapchats too, even if you're just talking to another person. Like, like you don't want to be. Swift. Yeah. Peer conflict. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it, again, going back to like the whole drama thing, like really you just shouldn't do it in the first place, but there is like a spot where you can resolve that if yes. it happens. Here at Henderson High School, we have a Peers Making Peace program where if you are having a problem that you know you cannot diffuse yourself, mm. you can bring it to our wonderful social worker, Miss Carl, who can possibly get you in that day to fix it. It's it's not worth it. You know, you can sit down, talk it out with that person, because most of the time, conflicts can be resolved by communication. And it's a huge weight off your shoulders. A huge it weight. It feels great. You don't need that burden. Anyway, uh, the next thing that we were going to talk about was attendance. You know, because like you really, one, it just doesn't help you if you just don't show up. But of course, if there isn't a, like any possible way that you can show up for like some certain reason, that can be worked out. But. You know. Attendance is so crucial. You you would think missing like one class, but as you get higher and higher, no, it counts. You don't want to miss that one class because that could be a and an some people, they they say that oh it's fun I'm gonna miss this class but it's not fun. No, it's not fun. <laughs> because and it's not worth it. It's so much to miss. Like you miss not only do you miss crucial class time. What was it you were saying earlier? You miss. <laughs> <laughs> you I can't do it now. It's not worth it because you're missing that time where you could be bettering yourself as a human being and an intellectual. And the makeup work is awful, so don't do it. Um, I think the best way to avoid missing a lot of class is scheduling your appointments either before or after school. It's it, not hard. It's not hard, it will benefit you more, and we understand sometimes it's just, you right have there. to get there, but just, if you're going to do that, be diligent and going to your teacher and making up that work because when you push it off, you are not helping yourself. Be on time to your classes. Yes. Be there. Be yes. there to be in the mindset of that class. Also, I mean, three tardies lead up to a lunch attention and that's just not fun. Yeah, I don't want to eat lunch in a, in a womb by myself. Why? Yeah, like wombs are for the babies. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're just, <laughs> they're just not fun to be in unless you're a baby. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Volunteer work. Whoa! No, really, it's it's really fun. Volunteering, grab a friend, and go and help out your community. Not only does it look great on a resume for college, but it also just makes you like feel good. Mm -hmm. Like do something outside of yourself. Like I did that. That's what you got. It's like I helped out. I'm helping my community become better. Don't get involved in hot, heavy romances the first time you walk in the door. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No. It's a distraction. It's a huge distraction. Once again, you're playing yourself, so just don't do it. <laughs> it's just, you don't need it right now. Honestly, I mean. You could be focusing on plenty of other things, and, it, and if you do happen to get into a relationship, yes, make sure that it's a healthy one. Oh, so healthy. And not your freshman year. <laughs> what are some signs of healthy relationships, Pedrito? Well, it needs to be, you know, happy, light, free, continued, you know, free of continued conflict. Yes. You don't and need to be arguing. That's not arguing every day. That's just not normal. Mm -hmm. And you know what that's doing? When you're arguing, you're not studying. So you're playing yourself And again. you're not bettering yourself for your school. Nope. Another thing, they should not be possessive or demeaning. If you are in a relationship with someone, they should lift you up. You know, they should encourage you Support to it. excel in life. They shouldn't pressure. be isolating or demeaning. There should be no pressure involved. Mm -hmm. You should be doing the things that you want to do that are healthy and that you're comfortable with. And you need to make sure your partner understands that no means no. No does not mean maybe. No does not mean oh, possibly. No means no. And if they don't understand that, then you have no business being with that person and they do not deserve you.
Okay. I think that like, I was I was reading this. Po okay, don't judge me. I was reading this poem the other day. Okay. It's called um, "I Heard the World Is Coming to an End," and so he it's the uh, the poet like told himself every morning um, if he was feeling like a certain like bad way that there were at least like a thousand other people that were feeling the exact same thing he was feeling, which is not to make you feel unimportant. It should make you, it should be a big relief. Yeah. It's like, if you're feeling stressed, like so is every other student in the school. That's true. You're never alone. There's always someone out there. We always think that we're the only one struggling with something. Kind of narcissistic actually. All right, <laughs> but we're not. You know, there's somebody that, it may not be the same thing and we're not trying to say that they're equal, but you're not the only one struggling, mm -hmm. ever. There's always somebody out there that's feeling just about the same way that you are. And they don't want to feel like that themselves, so they're going to do whatever they can to make you not feel like that. Right. And if you are feeling that you don't have anybody to talk to, you know, if you don't have that, that close friend, if you don't have that, that person in your life that you know you can go to for anything, we have wonderful faculty here at Hendrickson High School. They're I mean, great. I have gone to my counselors, I have gone to our wonderful social worker, Miss Lori Carl. She's amazing. Um, and we have other, I mean, your teachers, they, they support you, not only academically, but also emotionally. So, you're never alone. We've got a school full of people, and it's a packed school. There's somebody out there that wants to support you. Mm -hmm. This is Miss Carl, by the way. This is the one that wants to support you. Beep, beep, beep. Da, 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 da. Of course. This is fun. Hello, I am Miss Carl. I am the campus social worker here at Hendrickson. And as they said, and so eloquently, that you do not, you are not alone. There are people here to talk to. I am one of those. Um, what I do here at Hendrickson, and I'm located in the library, really conveniently. Um, I talk to students about things that may not be academic in nature. Maybe they're suffering from some stress at home or stress about school or stress in a conflict with uh, fellow students. Um, I also talk to students about things that might be financial if they can't afford school supplies or lunch. Um, I do not like to think about hungry hawks walking around the school, so if you are hungry, come talk to me. Um, I can connect you with resources or I can just listen. That's what I'm here for. So find me and I wish we could meet you in person. So find me in the hall and say hi. Um, if you were to pin me against the wall and say what is the tip that I would like to give students coming into Hendrickson High School, it would be uh, be kind. Uh, we are a proud no place for hate high school and we want to keep it that way. So it doesn't matter what your past has been or how you've treated people in the past. Come in here and turn over a new leaf. It's just an opportunity. And it's a really great opportunity because think about it, everyone's new to this school as a freshman. So you have the opportunity, if you see somebody walking alone or sitting alone, to just go out and uh, start a conversation with them. Just say, hey, what's your name? Or what school did you go to? It's a real easy thing to do, and it could make a big difference in that student's life. And it could mean a difference in your life and make you feel good. Also, I want to say, be yourself and know yourself. Um, know when you need help and ask for it. Um, we have faculty and staff that will listen and talk to you and get you help. Um, be yourself, you're unique to you, and it matters to us. We are a diverse campus, we, we have a bunch of great, unique students here, and we want to add you to that group. So come on in and just be yourself. Put peer pressure aside if you can. Just you know try to put that to the minimum, and don't be who somebody else wants you to be or try to put on a facade. It's not needed here. It's time to become independent. You're in that pre-college stage. So come on in and just be yourself because we need what you have to offer. So other than that, I would just say welcome and we're glad you're here. And we hope to look for all three of us. We'd like to say hi to you. Um, you're not a stranger to us anymore. So anyway, thank you and have a great take flight. Maybe a great day, Hawks. And remember, attitude, attitude is, is a, a choice. choice. Remember